Now we're ready to add parts to the part list. On the main nesting screen, on the Home tab, click Edit Part List. This is the Edit Part List window. It's used to add parts to the job. The Edit Part List is broken up into four main areas. The upper left contains Pronest LT part sources. So there's a CAD tab. This is where you select external part files to bring into Pronest LT such as CAD files. The VSP tab contains a parametric library of parts which you can customize and then add to the part list as well. The lower left is the part list. All the parts that have been added to the job will appear here. The upper right contains the preview pane. Um, an image of the currently selected part is displayed there. The lower right contains the properties pane. This is where you'll be setting CAD import and nesting properties for the parts as you add them. Let's take a look at adding a CAD file to the part list. So in the Part Sources section, you can browse to the location of your part source files. Right now this is pointed to an Examples folder that's installed by default with Pronest LT, but you'll want to use this similar to how you would use Windows Explorer to just browse to the folder that contains the CAD part that you want to bring in. Um, so you can just do that here. The files of type box is used to filter the files in the selected folder. So right now my filter is set to DWG and DXF files and only DXF and DWG files will show up in this panel here. So if I set this to something different like CAM files, now only files with a .cam extension will show up in that folder. There's also a filter here. Um, this is useful if you have a folder that contains many many parts and you want to narrow it down a bit. So you can just type in this box and only files that contain that name will be displayed. Another time saver is the favorites button. So that's right here. As you browse to the folders that contain the CAD files that you need. Okay, for example, I'll pick this PDF folder. I can just add this to favorites. And then this will be available by clicking the star the next time I come in and use Pronest. All right, now let's look at adding a part to the part list. This is basically a two-step process. First step is to preview the part and set properties. So we'll look at this base plate part. Just click it once to select it. You don't want to double click at this point. That would add it to the part list. Right now, just click it one time. At this point, the part hasn't been imported yet. The preview is showing a pre-processed view of the CAD file. So all of the geometry in the part as it will be imported. At this point, if anything is not set up properly, it's going to show up here. So if your CAD layer mapping is incorrect, or the CAD file is missing geometry, or you have geometry on the wrong layer, this will show up in the preview at this point. Well, let's suppose this part is supposed to have another hole in it, but we don't see it in the preview. At that point, you would want to stop right there, something's wrong, and it needs to be corrected before you add that part to the part list. Okay, so with this part selected, let's take a look at the properties pane. You can set the quantity for the part here. Okay, these can also be edited for the part after it's been added to the part list. The CAD import tab is used for CAD files that are selected in the part sources area. So, Earlier in this video series, we talked about setting up CAD layer mapping. So if you haven't already done so, go back and take a look at that video to familiarize yourself with how that works. But basically, right now, I have my cut process for my machine listed here. And then the layers from my settings, these are the CAD layers, are automatically recognized here. This is because my import part settings are correct right now. So let's click this real quick. So this tells you a few different things. The settings icon shows the layer names in my settings that Pronest is looking for and then trying to map to the cut process. There's a small icon of a part also, and that indicates that that CAD layer is found in the currently selected file. So this file that I have selected right here contains two layers, a zero layer and a cut layer. So the zero is just the default layer 
I think that the cut layer has all of the geometry on it. Let's take a look and see what happens if I were to clear this box here. So the minute I do that, I'm breaking that mapping between the cut layer and the cut process. And now the preview is giving me a message. And it's telling me that no CAD layers are mapped. If I were to try to import this part into the part list, it would fail and give me an error because Pronest does not have any geometry to bring in. So let's select this again. We'll click OK. I'll make a quick note that there's also a utility in Pronest called CAD Cleanup. You can use that to make quick last minute changes to the part before it's brought in. So let's open Simple CAD Cleanup. Okay, and here's that part. You can do things like adjust layers in here, um, delete geometry. This is basically a light CAD editor that comes with the program. So we won't make any changes. We'll get out of here for now. At this point, we can add the part. So you can press Enter, click Add Part, or just double click the part, and it will be added to the part list. So the part is now selected in the part list. In the preview, this is a processed view of the part. You'll notice that leads have now been added to the part. You can zoom in a bit to see those. This is what we call a token file in Pronest. So not only does this part have the geometry information that was originally specified in the CAD file, it also has information such as lead-ins, lead-outs, sequencing, uh, cut direction, kerf compensation, all of the things that are needed to take it the rest of the way through the software. At this point, the part's ready to be output to a cutting machine. So you could just select the part and select output part to generate NC code that could be cut at the machine. One more note here, any of the properties that we set in the nesting or leads tabs uh, prior to adding the part can now be adjusted. So if you made a mistake, let's say you got the quantity wrong, you can just change that right in the part list grid. You can also change it over here in the properties area.